Well, welcome back to Digger Detecting, guys. As you can see, uh, we've got you in the back woodworking room, and uh, look, there is no detecting again today. Damn, if you know, you know. But uh, look, we'll get to that in future. So basically what we're showing today is a bit of an unboxing and a review on something super cool. And uh, look, before we do that, I wanted to show you everything that I've got here and all the power banks and everything that charges up our campsite for about two days at a time. So we've got the solar panels at the back there. We've got the car battery. The solar panels basically a trickle feed the charge in the car battery and then the car battery charges up as required are the power banks in front of us here well all that is a bit of a method to madness but all that is not required anymore because we've got something even better want to take a look Right, well there it is, the brand new portable power station by Blue Eddy, and uh, look, it's the AC70 1000 watt, a 768 watt amp hours. Uh, this is very impressive too, and it's got the 200 watt solar panel uh, unit to go with it, and they're a great combination together. So we have been playing around with him a little bit, just give you a bit of a look around him. Uh, we have been playing around with him a little bit though, and we have flattened him, so it's completely flat. It needs a charge up, a really good charge up. The best thing about little Blue Eddy unit here, the AC70 though, is you can put it into turbo charge mode uh, where it takes about 45 minutes to get to 80% charge. And so we can do a boost charge on this 85% or 80% uh, in 45 minutes. Get that right, how amazing. And about 45 minutes to top it up from 80% uh, through to 100%, just filling in the rest of those cells within the, uh, within the lithium ba uh, battery inside. So very, very impressive little unit. We do also have uh, the solar panel over the back that I keep speaking of, the 200 watt solar panel. We're going to fold him out, bust him out, give you a look. We are going to charge the unit. So that's just standard wall plug charger into the side, AC in the inside, and uh, basically charge him up from the power point. This is what we need uh, to charge up the solar panel. So we uh, connect him straight in there, DC input, and then uh, positive, negative to the solar panel. So And it'll have, have a pos neg on the other end of the solar panel. This is also uh, your last charger, and that is DC input. He's just uh, auto switching off there. A last charge your DC input, so directly uh, into your cigarette plug lighter in your car, and you could charge this thing on the go as you're driving uh, down to the beach or what have you, or out to that campsite. So a ripper little unit, 1000 watt AC70, Blue Eddy, a little power station with the 200 watt solar panel, and let's set them up and see what they can do. All right, so the first test that we wanna do is obviously a charge test for the brand new little Blue Eddy unit. So just a quick push at a button, turns him on, and he's at 2%, you'll just notice, because I have shot this video clip a couple of times. So anyway, let's plug him in and uh, let's give him a real world charge test. You'll see the stop uh, stop timer down there. Uh, so the AC adapter in the right hand side here of the little Yeti unit. And we're gonna plug him in and see how much input we've got. So, and as I said, we're gonna hit that start button and give it a bit of a time. Now, what we have down the bottom is the indicator are telling us how long it's going to take to charge this unit, I completely charge it up to 100%. That is 1.6 hours. And we're coming in with input of 456 watts. So that's how much power is getting put into this little unit to charge it up. And look at that, we're already up to 3%. So 1.6 hours with the stopwatch going. Let's see how we go. All right, so we've just stopped the clock, as you've seen, and uh, look, packing that last bit of power in, it took a little while, two hours and six minutes, 31 seconds on the stopwatch. And uh, you will notice too, up the top there, a little input bar where we had some 400 odd watts coming in before. You would have noticed it dropped towards the end when it reached 95, 99% because it was trying to cram that last bit of power into the cells of the battery. So look, two hours, six minutes, I can live with that. That was a, a normal charge, a standard charge from the wall outlet there, from the power outlet. Uh, but look, if you wanted to do a turbo charge, as I said, 45 minutes, you could take that to uh, from zero all the way up to 80% and do a turbo charge and get out there and use your little power unit. So that is awesome. Two hours, we've got a, a, a brand new charge unit. Uh, good to test it out. Let's uh, plug something in, see how it goes. 
Well, here we are in the lounge room for our very first test, and of course it is charging up the metal detectors. Whoa, what else are we going to do first? Uh, but look, we are going to go check out some more stuff, take it back outside, and that's probably the best thing about the brand new Blue Eddy AC70 here. It's so portable, so lightweight, and so easy to carry around. It's only 10.2 kilos, and I'll tell you what, you don't even really know you're carrying it, and it's got a nice stable base on it. So even putting it down on the glass coffee table there, it is no worries at all. Uh, simply, uh, look, we're going to charge the detectors though now, and simply by pushing that button in the middle, uh, we can light up the screen, uh, bring it to life. We've got 99% there. I have been playing around with a little bit, dropped 1% uh, since leaving the shed. Uh, but look, we've got, got uh, the USBs plugged in, as you can see, both of them running to the Equinoxes there, and it's in the DC output range. So all we need to do is simply hit the DC button. We're going to see a little bit of wattage coming out at DC output, which is 19 watts and it's going to give us a run time. So about 33 hours at the moment it's calculating uh, that we can charge these detectors off a 99% uh, you know, charged up unit there. So we should also see, there they are, little blinking lights going on. So the 800's charging and the Equinox 900 is charging perfectly. And as I said, we can charge these units for some uh, 33 hours. Not that we need to do that. They probably only require about six to eight hours to charge, and then they're about 12 hours of run time. So very impressive. Uh, but 19 watts, we can get 33 hours uh, outputting that output, or outputting that capacity of energy. So very, very impressive. Both Equinoxes are charging. Let's leave them alone, see what it does. We'll charge them up max, and then we'll get it back out into the shed, test it out some more. All right, so here we are the next day, and uh, I'm not going to lie, we did have them charged up last night, fully charged up. However, we could not shoot the video clip because it was pitch black dark in the lounge room here. Bit hard to see what was going on. Uh, but the Equinox 800 finished at about 8 o'clock last night charging, and we put it on at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's uh, so about five hours, and uh, the Equinox 900 here followed suit about an hour later, about 9 o'clock. That's uh, so about five, six hours for this guy, uh, five hours or four, five hours for the 800 there so not too bad at all and as you can see on the little blue eddy ac70 we have only dropped nine percent remember that was 99 percent when we first walked him in here and plugged in the detectors so 90 percent it's dropped down to and uh, i noticed there towards the end of the charging cycle uh, it was showing 19 watts to begin with but towards the end it dropped down to about five watts uh, just trying to cram that last bit of power into the lithium ion batteries in the detecting uh, in the handles there of the detectors so 90 percent i can live with that uh, that ideally would give us about another uh, nine charges uh, of these detectors both from uh, zero to complete whole you know from dead flat to full so 90 percent awesome and now let's uh well the detectors are charged let's go see what else the ac70 can do all right, so next test for the Blue Eddy AC70, a little portable unit, and once again, so portable. Here we are carrying it back out into the shed. But the next test we've got set up is we're going to cut some steel bar, and we're going to use the angle grinder to do it. Now, I was just looking at this angle grinder here a second ago. He is, well, let me turn him around the right way. He is 720 watt there. You can see just above my th uh, thumb, 720 watt of uh, input that this grinder needs to run. That's a 720 watt output that this little unit is going to have to give the grinder to chop that bar. And we're going to show you a look. So you also notice we've charged it back up to 100%. Had to give it a proper uh, real world, real life test. So anyway, let's get it set up. Let's cut some bar and let's show you how it does. All right, well, I've just been mucking around there. We've dropped a couple of percent, as you can see. I've just been cutting the bar, doing a bit of a test, and I did film one clip already. But uh, look, I mucked up that clip, didn't I? So here we are starting again. So anybody wondering why it's dropped 2%? That's the reason. So let's do another test now. What I was doing there before though, I was just seeing how uh, how long calculated runtime it had with the angle grinder going flat out. And it was putting about four or 500 watts of output into the angle grinder. So let me show you that now. And what we're also gonna do is cut some bar and show you that as well. So to, uh, turn the AC on to activate the AC output. And we're good to go. It's starting to calculate the runtime. Now watch as I turn the angle grinder on, uh, watch the runtime and also watch the output. And I think it was from memory it was about one and a half hours that we were going to be getting a cutting with this angle grinder. Remember, 720 watt. So let's show you that now. Well, 
Well, how cool was that, hey? A one and a half hours that I've seen their runtime and an output of around four to 500 watts. Uh, the screen keeps timing out there, uh, just to save power, but four to 500 watts and one and a half hours uh, we could get running this angle grinder here. Now that is pretty impressive, I reckon. And remember, the little blue eddy unit here, it's portable. So you can take it anywhere, take it down the backyard, take it out into the bush, take it anywhere you need and use that angle grinder on site. Just amazing. Let's try something else. All right, so test number three, let's turn the unit back on. And uh, look, some will notice we've just entered into power lifting mode. We've got the little strong arm there. A power lifting mode is going to allow us to boost it from 1000 watt all the way up to 2000 watt and power up those accessories that's required. Uh, so in this scenario, what we're doing is we're gonna be using the drop saw over the back here. And now this is 1500 watt uh, capacity drop saw. And so what we're gonna see here is a, an output range of around 1500 watt or whatever the unit can give. And as I said, powerlifting mode, it should be able to give that no worries. And so let's give it a bit of a test and see. We're just going to run it flat out and uh, show the output that it gives and the calculated runtime. And then what we'll do is we'll chop some wood. So let's have a look. Radio. So you just seen that there, 1.6 hours and around about a thousand watts of output. And now let's give it a test and chop some wood with it. Well, there we go. We just did all those cuts just then, and it's extremely dusty in here. Whew, don't wanna be doing that too much. Uh, but uh, look, we just done all those cuts in the back here uh, just then, as you've seen, and we've got 95%. We went down 1%, and we would've had a calculated runtime of around about one and a half hours uh, utilizing that drop saw at 1500 watt capacity. So that's, that's look, that's very impressive to me. So screen's just timed out again there to save power. Uh, but as you see, 95% and we've still got a 66.3 hours of whatever we wanna do. So let's turn that off, AC output off. We'll unplug him. And uh, look, that's a drop saw done. Let's see what else we can test out with the little blue eddy. All right, so we've got you on the shed floor for the last test, test number four, and then we're gonna get it outside start playing around with the solar panels because I've not showed you any of that just yet. You will notice too for the last test we have charged it back up to 100% and we boosted him back up, topped him back up and the reason being is because this test number four it's a big one 1875, 1875 watts uh, of basically uh, voltage that this air compressor needs to run uh, and pump up so what we're going to do is plug him in into the AC output we're going to hit the AC button and you will notice too, we're in uh, power lifting mode once again. We've got a little strong arm there, a little muscle arm, a power lifting mode to basically uh, jump it from 1000 watt and give the 1875 watt that's required to run the air compressor here. And look, to be honest, I don't know how it's gonna go. That's, that's look, that's a lot uh, for the little uh, Blue Eddy unit to handle. Uh, so let's give him a whirl and uh, we'll turn the air compressor on and see how it does. There we go, I did not think so. So straight away you heard the air compressor start up, we'll turn him off. And you can see there, the little blue eddy unit tried to basically run it, but just could not do it. Even at 100%, uh, it's just met its capacity there. So we're gonna turn him off, AC off, and we're gonna turn him back on. And we'll give you one more look at that, it just simply resets the unit. And we'll turn him back on, we'll give you one more listen, one more look, it is gonna overload it again though, ready? Turn the air compressor on. As I said, you can nearly hear the air compressor uh, motor start to kick in and then it just stops. And so once again, we've overloaded the unit and look, it's a safe little unit here. It overloads it, uh, puts in the safe protection mode so you're not doing any damage. Uh, we'll just turn that off there though again and hit the AC button to reset it. So unfortunately, we can't run uh, the 1875 watt 
uh, air compressor at the back here. We can't charge that guy up, unfortunately, uh, but everything else that you've seen that we've run so far, even the drop saw at 1500 watt, well, it did that, no worries. It did that perfectly, uh, and likewise with the angle grinder. So let's turn him off at that, and we'll unplug the air compressor. Thankfully, we don't need to take the air compressor out of the shed. It just lives in here uh, all the time. So that's a good little test, though. And as you see, the Blue, D, uh, Blue Eddy unit held uh, handled everything else quite fine. Uh, the air compressor, though, it was just a little bit too much. Now let's get it outside and check out those solar panels. Well, test number five, and we're outside, as you can see. We've uh, been setting up for the last half an hour. We've even put the marquee above us uh, just to keep us out of the sunlight because it is extremely hot today. Uh, but that's also good because, as you can see, we've just set up the brand new 200 watt uh, Blue Eddy solar panels, and they look amazing. Uh, they're set up on a 45 degree angle at the moment, and the uh, interesting thing about how to set them up is you just unclip that little clip and set it to uh, basically the degrees, the percentage that you want it to be. Uh, or the angle that you want it to be at. So we've got it set at 45 degrees at the moment. It can also go to 35 degrees, but look, 45 degrees is a perfect angle for today. So whew, it's hot. Let's go back in the shade. And now what we're doing here is we're simulating a camping trip and all the things that we need to charge on that camping trip. I remember I've got two kids, two boys. They like to play their games and like to bring their Game Boys and phones and everything uh, in between. So let's turn the Blue Eddy on. He's still at 100%, which is great. I will just say too, we've got a little USB splitter here, and so we can turn one USB port into four. How cool is that? And so we may need, uh, we may use that if needed, and that's just picked up from, uh, look, any electrical appliance store. So that did not come with the little Blue Eddy unit. So first thing we're gonna do is plug that fan in. Oh, these flies. Plug the fl uh, fan in. That's the first one. Now we haven't activated anything just yet and we are still in uh, uh, power uplift mode, but that does not matter because we're not gonna require, I don't think, that much power. So let's uh, plug the rest in there, shall we? USB uh, for the iPad, the tablet over the back. We want, uh, we're gonna have to use that splitter. We want the splitter in there. And I haven't actually done this before, but I'm sure it's gonna work. And we wanna plug in all our appliances into this splitter. So in goes the Game Boy, in goes the power bank, in goes the Nintendo Switch. You notice the Blue Eddy just got cut back out again there. He just does it to save power. So two seconds, push of our button, and he comes back on. So USB, T, uh, USB type C. Now this will not work in the splitter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug him in the front of the little Blue Eddy unit there. How awesome is that? And same with the, uh, the Android, the Samsung phone here. So that was the Apple. And now we've got a Samsung phone off to the right hand side. It's still alive. And he's on 87%. And the Apple is on, I don't know. I don't know how to read Apple. But anyway, let's turn them on. We're in the DC output range. So all we gotta do is hit the button DC and all of these appliances will start charging. Now the last one that we need to get to is the light bar. So let's put this guy in and he goes in the DC output range, what we commonly refer to as the cigarette lighter plug. So let's turn him on. Now we should have DC on with everything. Light bars, tablets, Game Boy, little red light. Where is he? I can't see the red light on him. Just, just down the middle there. Very hard to see in the daylight. The switch is charging, power bank is charging, iPhone is charging, and Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy is charging, and the light bars are going. Now, let's turn that fan on. Why haven't we got the fan on? Three, we need to AC to activate the AC output, and there goes our fan. So there we have it. We're just uh, charging up a tablet, a switch, a power bank, a Game Boy, a Samsung, uh, sorry, an iPhone, and a Samsung. And we're doing all that running the splitter there. Not to mention we're running uh, some LED light bars there. We're camping, remember? And we've even got the fan going. So what are we outputting? Let's have a look. So we've got 6.8 hours of run time, or 6.7 now hours of run time using this amount of uh, charge. Let me just sit down there. And we're outputting 53 watts out of the DC output. Uh, so that's this guy here to the left. 
and that is remember are running all the light bars the light bars are taking about 55 watt and all up charging all our accessories in the AC uh, DC output range sorry I've got that wrong the DC output range sorry uh, is 56 watts so that's charging all our accessories turn the screen back on there 6.4 hours the AC output the fan that is taking 46 watts so all in all very impressive and the light bar once again is running from the DC output range so now as it starts to suck this power what we're going to do 98% there and you see it's starting to drop what we're going to do is we are going to hook the solar panels in and we're going to see just how much dc input that starts feeding back into the machine and helping keep all these appliances charging for days days on end weeks on end however long you have it set up for so let's do that now right so super simple stuff to hook up the solar panels as you see we've just ran the cord out it's a positive and negative cord it splits from one into two and you've got the black and the red indicating a positive and negative it's super simple stuff and as you've seen there we cannot muck the cords up they they only go one way i'll just unclip one there for you but they only go one way oh i can't unclip it i can't do it one hand there we go so look you cannot muck them up you will literally put black with black and red with re uh, red with red every single day of the week it, uh, it's impossible uh, to muck it up so now the front of this input the yellow one he goes straight into the DC input in the front and we're going to see that power from the solar panels start to kick back into the unit so 97% at the moment and as you can see there is nothing coming in no charge uh, coming in just a charge going out on the DC output and the AC output there so we're not charging anything on the uh, AC input or on the DC input we will be in a second let's have a look so simply plug him in it's literally plug and play it's so simple so plug him in the solar panels are going to start doing their job and bang there it goes so we're already inputting wow quite a bit i was going to say about 97 but it's jumping up and it's continuing to rise so no matter what we're outputting are charging our, all these accessories and running lights and fans we are inputting even more uh, back into the unit so just those solar panels there are running 200 watt and they're probably not well they're not uh, inputting 200 watt they're only inputting 137 at this moment uh, but 137 138 watt uh, that's inputting as i said it's more than what we're outputting charging all these accessories so in other words this unit could run quite comfortably all day long running all this and more and never run out of charge ever so how cool is that what a great little unit i'll tell you what i think uh, just to test it out a bit more we better plug something else in what about a bug zapper let's try him out i know it's not very high watts but um i'm just pulling stuff out of the shed seeing where i can plug in this let's see what it does 53 output didn't really go up much that's very low wattage what is the wattage on that six watts we need to find something higher what about a big fan? Check that bad boy out. Let's plug him in. Let's see what it does now. Oh, we need to turn him on. This is my biggest fan too. I used to have this in the workshop. Industrial fan. Let's have a look. What are we pulling now? Well, that's better. We're pulling out now 153 watts out of the AC output. Remember, that's the two fans. The white fan off to the left of us here. And the big boy, my biggest fan over the back there, the industrial fan. So 152 watts that we're pulling out of the AC output, but we're still putting in 133 watts of input from the solar panels over there. Remember this cord are running off to the solar panels and the solar panels are sucking up that sun, giving us back 130, well, thereabouts watts, 130 watts. And we're also outputting 55 watts still from the DC output range. Remember that's the cigarette lighter plug here. Uh, so that is the uh, the light bars there which i just disconnected uh, we're also uh, the dc output range is all the usbs into the splitter uh, with all the devices in front of us and look i even added another one we're charging up another power bank now so how awesome is that if i put another splitter in this side and we run two splitters we could ideally have eight usb outlets uh, plus the two usb c's on each side so that's pretty incredible I said I'm just going to stand here uh, lap up this wind uh, take in my biggest fan and enjoy it and watch what this unit does for a little bit longer and see if I can't find something else to plug into it Rightio, so we are going for our very last test now and as you can see I've really really loaded the little blue Yeti up 
and it's loving it. It's loving life. It's actually, uh, well, it's starting to drop a little bit with that extra fan incorporated. We were up at 97% before, but even at the moment with everything we've got going on, we've got about, what, six or seven devices charging, two fans running. Uh, we still have nine hours of calculated runtime to do everything that we're doing here, plus the lights. Now, some will have noticed too, I've got a bit carried away, haven't I? We've even added a, uh, a power board here. And what we're gonna do, a few more accessories. We've got the fan running. Let's put the, uh, the bug zapper on, because we can, and because that's another great test. And let's turn the bug zapper on. And what we've also got is the little, uh, basically, little torch here. So a little wood burner. So we're gonna wait for him to heat up. And uh, once he's heated up, I'm gonna show you a look at just what we're doing. And so 148 watts outputting still, uh, and turn the screen back on there, 130 watts coming in from the solar panels. Very, very impressive. I'm super impressed. Let's see if this is hot yet. Not quite. Takes a little while to heat up. We'll crank him right up. It'll probably help if we turn it on too. That will work. So we're just gonna come back, there he goes. A bit more output there. That's better. I was wondering why it didn't go up before. 178 watts of AC output we're outputting now and 6.1 hours of calculated runtime or 6.2 and still getting that 130 watts of DC input from the solar panel. Now it'll be getting warm. There he goes. So there we go. We're camping. We've got two fans running. We don't need to. We've got the lights running. We don't need to. It's the middle of the day, uh, but we're camping. We've got all our accessories charging, and here we are happily uh, running, well, not running out of power. So let me just turn that screen back on. I really need to download the app, and in the app on your phone, you can adjust the screen timeout. So you can let it, uh, make it stay on all the time. And as I said, I'm not gonna get right into all that today. We're just doing some real world tests, but there's a lot of really cool things you can do with the little blue Eddy unit. You can hook up uh, uh, Bluetooth there, and you can run Bluetooth uh, through your phone and operate the unit through your phone. Operate little Blue Eddy uh, from out uh, from not even getting out of your chair. So, look, that is super impressive. I must admit, I'm running out of time. I do need to go get the boys very soon. I've probably got about 10 minutes to pack all this up. And uh, look, we're gonna finish it here. But in future, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you more of what we can do with the little Blue Eddy AC70 unit. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It's been, look, it's been a great test and I've had a lot of fun doing it. So time to pack up now. And as I said, we'll be back in future to show you some more.